So we started watching the Bad Girls Club. This is the season with Natalie and Flo. Season four. <laughs> Yo, even my brother loves this show. Like this season, Flo, man, I, I love, love Flo. Flo. Like if you're like from Albania and you just like Flo, like I fucking love you. Yeah. Like I can't. Yeah, Flo She's is crazy. crazy. Yeah, she's like us. <laughs> You already know we had to get Jersey Mike's, roast beef, turkey, provolone, bacon, mayo, and honey mustard. This one is Marlene's. It I looks so good. Swiss. Oh, Swiss. Yeah. yeah, you're right. This one is my brother's. This one is roast beef. I want to say this looks like provolone. Yes, it is. And then this has salami in it. Or is it pepperoni? I think it's pepperoni. But lettuce, tomatoes. It looks so good. This one is mine. Ham. Extra provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, bacon, and turkey. I gave half to my dad because now we put him on Jersey Mike's and now he loves it. Things planned for the Amber Show. We have Chris, which is going to show us air sex. Okay, wait. Yeah, there's air sex, okay. like air guitar. So this is what my nails are looking like. I'm about to do, I'm talking about a 30 minute um, refill. It's going to say nail tutorial, but I'm just going to add a little clip here. Um, basic as how Marlene was going to pay for me to get them done, but I'm just going to do them myself. I'm not feeling the greatest, so yeah, let's jump into them. I'll push my cuticles back and I'll add a little clip.
So these are my nails, you guys. They look cute. They look so nice. I was gonna do gems and stuff. I don't have the patience for that. Then I got the cuticle cutter and just remove some of this right here. I just put oil on my cuticles and on my nails just to make sure that the gel polish is dry. But yeah, I love them. We in the car, as you could see, we got Sonic. Tell them what's been going on. So it's that time of the month for me. My back was killing me. Me and Jose went and put the elliptical upstairs yesterday. So my sister told my dad to help me. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just do it myself. I was dragging the stuff up the stairs. And it really, like, pulled my back. I put on a patch. I, I woke up late. And then we've been trying to get our feet done all afternoon. It's 12. I did my workout. And I told Darlene I was a little pissed because I'm not thinking she's going to wake up early. Because I'm like, we need to get our feet done. It's been like two months. Because our toes wasn't growing fast enough. So, our toes is like dinosaur feet. I'm like, yo, we need to go early. She wakes up at 11 something. So, I'm like, yo, it's going to be jam-packed. Everywhere we go is packed. No staff whatsoever. We go to the one place. The girl is not even looking at us. There's nobody there. She's on her phone the whole time. And she's like, oh, come back in 30 minutes with no staff there. So, it's just like... You either want to do your job or don't. Um, these are French toast sticks. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I'm about to eat those right now. Oh, my God, you guys. Listen, we decided to get... Shout out to our Sonic. These girls are so freaking nice. Mm -hmm. Every time they don't see us... It's like we're friends. You know what I mean? We got a lemonade, and she's like, we could do it any flavor. I'm like, can we have strawberry? And I was going to do a regular lemonade and a strawberry, but I'm like, just give me two strawberries. When I tell you they put real strawberries in here, and then I diluted it with a little bit of water that I had and squeezed the lemon in it, girl, it's got everything. your life. Mm -hmm. We got mozzarella sticks, and we're going to try the new uh, wraps. Um, we already tried me and Marlene before the Baja one. This is the cheesy Baja, so mm -hmm. we're gonna try the barbecue one. I just broke a nail today. Mm -hmm. This one I So stopped. I'm about to go to a new nail tech and get my nails done again. Well, we already went to her, so. Yeah, but we're gonna go to her again. Barbecue, and then this one is Jose's. This one is the cheesy one. They're really small, they're $1.99. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hand sanitize my hands and everything like that. This one has just chicken. Lettuce and cheese sauce. When he tastes this, he's gonna be like, "Wow, that's delicious." Can I get my um, mm -hmm. my thing? So yeah, we hope that you guys are doing well. By the way, you can't see my eyes, but that's okay. I'm gonna have a mozzarella stick first because I wanted a mozzarella stick today. So let's see if it does a cheese bowl. Mm, a little bit. Mmm. These are so good. Mm. You, I haven't spoke to y'all in such a long time. Let me recap the Nicki Minaj concert. That was amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. If I could go back, bro, I feel like it happened so quick. I'm like, I got to see the video over and over and over. I was, It was amazing. To me, it was amazing. She did a great job. Shout out to everybody that was... I have the window open, so of course. This guy is speeding over here in the parking lot, right next to us. It has to be right next to us. Stupid fucking idiot. I'm sorry, I just don't have the patience. Look I don't know if y'all could see the smoke. You know. Anyways, so shout out to everybody that says, oh my God, you guys got really good seats. And shout like, out to the people that were talking about the guy in the front. Oh my God, he was enjoying, first of all, he was famous. Mm -hmm. We had no idea who he was, mm -hmm. but Darlene was talking to his security guard and he's like, you know, I can't tell you who he is because of the NDA. He had a security guard, so that's how we know he was famous. And the only reason why I even knew that he was famous, um, was because there was this big, big brawler dude next to him. And there was this girl next to him. She was decked out. Balenciaga, everything. Chanel bag. I'm like, oh my God, I love your bag. And usually, I'm not the type of person to talk to people. But because he was standing around and looking, facing me and talking to me, he was saying that we would fly. Um, really yeah, nice. He was so nice. His teeth were everything. He was making sure my sister was good. We were going to smoke with them. I wasn't going to smoke. They were going to give Marlene the blunt. They were going to all smoke. But the people that were next to us, 
well, in front of us, next to the people that were famous, were complaining and bitching. Oh, you know, I have my daughter here. She's 14 years old. Please don't smoke around us and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you bringing your daughter here then? <clears throat> like, it's not your facility. People can do as they please. Yes, they say don't smoke. Yes, they told me I couldn't vape. I sneaked in my vape in there and I was vaping. You there know what I'm saying? The two gay guys in the back, the one guy, he had a blunt. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't take blunts because I thought that you can't, you know, put them through the metal detector. But, girl, take one, we'll see. You could, you could sneak everything in there except weapons. That's it. But and other than that, like, it was fire. And the guy, he was like, yo, I sh he wanted to buy the whole section or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't because it was, you know, they sold out the tickets right away. I want to try the wrap. Mm, this one is so good. You guys, everybody was so nice. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't panicked. We were the first ones there. Um, everybody was asking each other. Like, people were asking us how much you pay for your tickets. Everybody was asking each other. We could hear them around. I'm not one to really care how much you pay. I don't care. Like, I pay what I pay, and that's it. The people behind us, they were two gay guys. We got there first, and then they sit next to each other. They introduced themselves, and you could hear, like, the way that they carry themselves, that they were gay. And they were like, you know. The one gay guy sitting behind me, he mm. was 30 years old. So mm -hmm. let me, you'll talk about your dude. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about my dude, because the dude behind me was mine. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't. What I liked about the concert that DJ Booth had us all introduce ourselves, mm -hmm. like it was good energy. Mm -hmm. Even the boy next to me, he gave us gum and everything. He was cute. The guy next to us, he was gay. He came with his friend. Yeah. And he said that we look pretty and everything like that. And he was so nice. They were so nice and yeah. so well put together. I kind of felt embarrassed asking him for gum. Because um, I was going to originally bring halls and gum, so my throat didn't hurt. But I forgot all about that. But they were so nice. The guys behind us was like, you know, I would not be coming here and sitting all the way on the top. I had to do a big and sit in the bottom and blah, blah, blah. And they just gave me so much like reassurance of how I be feeling and stuff. They were talking about how, you know, their friends were sitting all the way in the bleachers on top. You no, know, the guy behind me was like, he's the only child. And he's mm. like, he has like five good like good friends he's like my friends will never pay for these tickets mm -hmm. he's like you know i do shit by myself he's like what's the point of coming to a concert and me sitting all the way in the top mm. so i'm like wow and then the mm. other dude sitting behind darlene he was only 21 he was going to work the next day at six o'clock in the morning he's a medical assistant yeah. and i was so happy that made me so happy and they were like we don't really do anything for the guy that was sitting behind marlene was like I don't really do anything for myself. I, all I do is work and stay home. So I wanted to give myself this gift. And it just makes me so happy to see people that are younger than us striving. Like, to leave a concert at 1230 at night and then get home by like 2 o'clock in the morning. Because it was a zoo to get out of there. And to go to work at 630 in the morning, that's dedication. Like, that, to me, made me, I wanted to give them a hug. Because mm -hmm. you nice. don't see that. I hope that they, you know, hang out and like mm -hmm. they get it on and pop it because mm -hmm. it seemed like they had some chemistry mm -hmm. back there. And I was listening mm -hmm. to the conversation because it's mm -hmm. like I like to live by curiosity to other people. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, okay? And my sister said this and she said this to me. She's like, I'm not trying to be ignorant, but when I tell you there was white people there, like Nicki Minaj brought out the white people. Mm hmm. You know, she has, you know, she's a Caribbean girl. She's, you know, the urban culture. A lot of, you know, Hispanics, a lot of black people love her. And, 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 and you know, we support her. But when we saw how many white people were there, it was so beautiful to mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. To see somebody like her come from New York City, from Queens, from nothing, and be so talented and just bring so many people. and The vibe, the vibe. Yeah, the I didn't energy. Even I didn't even feel that vibe when we went to see RBD concert. The vibe to this concert was everything. Like DJ Booth made a, you know, made it that everybody felt welcome. He put Spanish music. He put reggaeton. 
He didn't put the best, you know, merengue. But you know what? He put white people music. He he included everybody. Mm -hmm. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Turn behind you. Wave to everybody. Give them a handshake. Introduce yourself. Like, who does that? Like, I even felt like, okay, I need to, you know, say hi to my neighbor. I need to say hi to the guys in the back. And they both gave me their handshake. Mm -hmm. And they were smiling. Like, it was so much fun. The one thing that I didn't like, and I'm going to just end it here because... I don't want to drag it. I didn't like how we paid for our tickets. And as soon as the people in the front of us that were famous, they were going back and forth, getting food and drinks and stuff like that. Then you had all these fucking groupies, all these bitches that came from, I don't know, probably top bleachers to be in the front. Pay for your seat where you're supposed to sit. Yeah, when you go to a concert, be careful in the front because we were in the front. Like, mm -hmm. we were section two mm -hmm. so the first we row, were in the stage yeah and then you know there was two people sitting in before the famous guy came where his crew you know there was two people sitting in their seats and they were like get the fuck up get out of here so me the long story short is a lot of people in the concert would try to steal people's mm -hmm. seats even the people that were next to me that gave me gum I think the tragedy happened because they ended up leaving mm -hmm. early. And it was like they was they, they paid just as much as we did. He was like, I'm so excited. This is my first time seeing Nikki. Mm -hmm. I never seen her. Mm -hmm. The girl that he was with was excited. And they left mid show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were rapping everything. And then when I look back, next to me, some some white girl, she rapping. Mm -hmm. And she hits me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm sorry. I didn't take offense of it because, you know, we both yelling for Nikki and Monica and all that. But I'm like, girl... Who are you? Like you wasn't yeah. there earlier, but it's like people they if they see a free seat, they they gonna steal it. And then the security guard didn't do anything to even push them away. Like, you know, it's your job to make sure that nobody's there in those seats. We're paying thousands of dollars for those seats, you know? I don't think people I don't think the security guards care at that point, you know? Yeah, they don't know who's who and you just gotta make sure you, you follow the you know your ticket your ticket number mm -hmm. your section and mm -hmm. stuff like that so they didn't care but mm. it was fun and the facility the Wells Fargo facility that we went to fire the customer service mm -hmm. was fire like mm -hmm. I liked it better than Madison Square Garden yeah. Madison Square Garden was a shit show and it was big you know everybody has space the bathrooms weren't OD crowded mm -hmm. like food service everywhere like it was just awesome I, I want to go back there so Hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, you guys, we hope you guys enjoy this little, you know, intro of us, you know, talking about our experience. It was amazing. Yeah, let's go get our toes done, hopefully. So, we'll show you what colors we're going to use, okay? Guys, we're getting our toes done. It's empty. So, Marlene called. And, oh, this massage feels amazing. By the way, Marlene brought her own polish. Uh, we'll show you when we get home. It's from yeah. the Kardashian line. But I'm so excited to be here. Oh, I'm just... hey guys, getting our feet done. Oh, this water feels so nice. Very nice. Water I nice. love it. Yeah. How does it feel, Mar? Yeah. Feels amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. So Marlene changed her mind. She's going to do this purple instead. She was gonna do this one which is pretty too it looks like that one right there but that purple one is nice hold this more and then i think i want to do that green right there that 568 i don't ever do colors like that um so i might do that one or maybe i'll do a glitter one too this glitter one is pretty right here this pink one is pretty this pink glitter it's so hard to choose you guys so as we were leaving the nail salon, we stopped by JCPenney, you guys, and look how cute these bags are. 30% off. It was going to be like $31.50. I really wanted to get it in pink and in black. Let me know down below if you think I should get it. I kind of like these duffel bags as well because I got rid of mines that my brother bought me. I had it for a couple years, so I got rid of it and I donated it to the Salvation. So I want to get a new one. And by the way, do you guys go to JCPenney? Because our JCPenney now is collabing with Forever 21 and I thought that was so cool. Got our toes done. Dinosaur feet did. Yes.
you guys really quick i can't wait to take these braids off when i come home but let me know down below i gotta pee but martin's peeing first let me know down below if your parents are like this i told my dad to get ready right as me and my sister took the car we got had to be there at eight it's already 10. i told them you better be ready by 10. don't make me come home and start a fit and what i mean by fit come upstairs bang on the door and start screaming playing like get ready Right? He's already asking all these questions. Where are we going? Why are we going so yeah. far? And it's like I tell him, you're retired. You have no job. Yeah, and what you're not driving, you? bro. Like, and I'm like, and then you know. And like, yeah, you're right. I'm like, you're so lazy. I'm, I'm like, that's why I'm lazy like you. I don't want to do shit. He's yeah. like, yeah, you're right. So I tell him, oh, we're going 45 minutes away from here. Because it's the place that we're going to. We want to go to Forever 21. We want to go to the other Burlington. So I tell him, he's like, oh, no, that's too far. Why we got to go that far? What are we going to do? Let me know if I'm the only one like that. Somebody got to have a parent like this somewhere because I know I cannot be the only one. I made homemade pizza for the boys. And Looks me. Looks so good. Fire. With maple sausage. So good. I put a lot of garlic on top and some of that pizza blend that Jerry got us from Trader Joe's. OMG. So this is the Cinnabon that we got. It is huge. When I tell you it is heavy, it is heavy. We wanted to try it because it's been at room temperature for a while. But Marnie said it's really good. I tried it and it's good. This is the caramel one. Yeah, because I was going to put it in the oven. But you know how these things, like, it's good to eat them right when they're hot. But we don't have the mi micro because I don't want a microwave in my house. Because I find when you have a microwave, you start buying them stupid ass frozen meals. And then mm. you want to heat everything up in the mm -hmm. microwave. So, I avoid having one here. So, I didn't want to put it in the oven because then it could go too crispy, too bad, too fast. Yeah. And so, I'm scared. So, I tried it and it's pretty good. It's really good, actually. But one is good for like two or three people because yeah, it's a, a lot. Yeah, a little bit goes a long Back way. Back then, I would have eaten, eaten this whole thing with uh, palm ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah, vanilla. Uh, Watching the movie no, Wish. Look, I mean, yes. Uh, Seems pretty cute so far. You guys, we're back here again because my dad got the wrong case. He didn't bring his phone. I yeah, like this. Made a mistake yeah. this game. Look how cute this is. I love yeah, this one. No es high. Ahí te dijo que high. Look at this one, you guys. This is pretty Gucci. Y qué lindo. Look how pretty this one is. I love it. Marlene wanted my dad to get this one, but he's choosing either this one right here or this one right here. Which I think I like the Supreme one better. Look how pretty Marlene picked it out. So pretty. Daddy loves it. He wants pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we gotta go all the way over there. Smart people there today. I gotta get those these. Are $5. Oh no, look at this. Five dollars for that? And no way. These sweetie pies are half price. Oh, the sweetie pies, they have yes. clusters on it, yes. like yes. pecans. Yes. Caramel pecan, Jose will love these. Mm. How much are these? Um, let me check. Uh, wow. Mar. Joseph, mm -hmm. you might as well. Yeah, yeah Tabi. You guys, so we're getting Orange Julius. We're getting. Uh, what are we getting? Mango, pineapple. Uh huh, and Coco Nana Berry. You guys, that's red lobster in a in a in a mm. cup. So mm. good. Mine's is amazing. You could just taste the banana. It's so freaking good. So worth it. Tell me why my dad says he wants pizza. We go to the opposite side of the mall. We get there. I'm telling him about the pizzas, and then he tells me. Oh, no, I don't want no pizza no more and walks away. Let me know I'm not the only one with parents like mine. 
So this is the second day in a row me and Darling eat Lipton soup. Me and my dad made some yesterday with eggs and carrots and raw garlic and um, some peppercorns that we use, which is called malagueta and DR. We're going to do this again today and we're going to add raw shrimp and me and Darling going to add broccoli and cauliflower to the soup because... I don't know. I just want to like spruce it up a little bit. Yeah. I wanted to add potatoes, but we don't have potatoes either. So I don't know why. Y'all know that I'm not a soup, soup girl. girl, but I don't know. Like we were going to make beef and broccoli. No, we were going to make shrimp and broccoli. Then we were going to make shrimp alfredo with cauliflower and broccoli. And it's just like, I have a whole chicken in the yeah. oven that you guys well, are going to see. And the, uh, yeah, in the fridge marinating. <laughs> my bad. That you guys will see in the vlog, but... We're, like, tired. We were going to do shrimp toast. Like, instead of General Souls chicken, we were going to do a shrimp version. But we yeah. were, like, nah, we're just going to do this. So, let's um, jump into showing you what it looks like. So, here I have some water. I put some garlic pieces, peppercorns, and then I grated some raw garlic. So, I'm letting this come up to a boil. I barely added any salt to this because the Lipton soup has a lot of, like, chicken bouillon. And here I have my shrimp. I just put black pepper onion powder garlic powder so marlene is going to add the soup in now okay throw it in i grew up eating this soup mm -hmm. like when i was sick and stuff like that like with a ginger ale yeah that's like the remedio with a uh, pan totado yeah but it has to be it had to be like a wheat bread out of all things wheat nah, bread. i liked wonder bread like yeah. i'm just like a wonder bread girl with mayonnaise yeah. my sister loves butter i love mayonnaise yeah so you guys, like, this brings back so much memories, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to add an egg to this. I don't know. Like, we grew up at adding potatoes and eggs. You know, people eat this with white rice on the side. Like, I saw this Boricua the other day, the one that did our nails. Mm -hmm. She did, um like, penne pasta, Alfredo mm -hmm. style, with mm -hmm. chicken, and mm -hmm. then she did white rice on the side, a salad, and avocado. So, it all depends on your preference mm -hmm. and what you want to eat it with. That's why I don't knock nobody and be like, ew, that's weird. I don't eat that. Or, you know, if I do think that, I always think it to myself and not say it to people because, you know, I don't like to hurt people's feelings. So we're just going to let this come up to a boil. I got to get the broccoli and the cauliflower out to show you guys. So here is the broccoli. Like I said, we were going to make shrimp broccoli, right? Shrimp and broccoli or something mm -hmm. like that. So I'm just going to add some vegetables. Yesterday we did it with carrots, you guys. And I was so surprised how good it tasted with the carrots. Because with the carrots, it gave you like a sweet taste. Well, carrots are sweet. They say that in the Food Network. And when you really eat them, they are kind of sweet. Not OD sweet. You know what we mean there. But um, we did it with eggs as well yesterday. And it was fire. I don't know. But lately, shout out to everybody who actually agreed with me with the heartburn. A lot of y'all got heartburn too. Um, I'm just trying to get more into like vegetables and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like they turn kind of brown or black sometimes if you don't make them right away. This is the, I bought them last night and look at that already. I'm going to eat it like that. I don't care. Um, it's just a little bit, but you know, you have to eat these vegetables right away. Cause if now they go bad and I, don't, I hate buying vegetables and then they go bad. I don't like throwing out food. So yeah, it's like throwing out money as yeah. well when you don't yeah. use it. Yeah. Mmm. It's so good. We're going to let this come up to a boil, right? Let the broccoli become soft, and then we'll show you the next step. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be adding a little bit more water because I know I'm going to need it because of the shrimps and also the eggs that I'm going to be adding. So here, the soup is coming up to a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs. Um, I was going to not do a voiceover for this part, but I had a phone call, so voiceover is just what it's going to be. I'm just going to add the eggs and let me know down below when you make soup, what kind of ingredients you add to your soup, because usually we add potatoes and I just love potatoes and carrots on my soup. And I did add a little bit more salt, Himalayan salt, black pepper. I did add some onion powder, onion powder, if I can talk and some garlic powder as well because I just love to season my soup very well. Sometimes I feel like even though it's like chicken bouillon, I feel like it needs some more like additional seasoning, if that makes any sense. And although I used raw garlic, I always like to use garlic powder as well and onion powder. Does that make sense? Gently, I'm using the spoon and making sure that I, you know, don't break the, any of the eggs because, you know, eggs 
tend to break easily and I hate when my eggs are broken in my soup or when I eat white rice with like fried eggs. I don't like my yolk to break unless I break it myself. Am I weird or is it just me? Let me know down below. I'm going to just let this come up to a boil and continue to let it do its thing. And now I am going to be adding the shrimp slowly, as you can see. And then I'm just going to just dump them all in and make sure that I, you know, make sure that they are submerged in the liquid, if that makes any sense, because I want them to cook. And then pretty much the soup is already done. All you want to do is let the soup go for like an additional two minutes, three minutes so that the shrimp can just cook and it's perfect. It was amazing. The best soup ever. I'm definitely going to make it again because it was so good. Everyone loved it. Okay, so the soup is done. And Look it tastes you guys. Oh my god. Let me plate up one egg, some soup, and some shrimp, some broccoli. You guys, you could pair this up with anything that you want. Rice, garlic bread, um, whatever you some crackers. Yeah, whatever your heart desires. A like, salad on the side. Yeah, like this looks so good. It tastes so freaking good and it's so hearty. Like Look at that, you guys. Look at that. OMG. Let me know if you guys make soup like this. Um, leave your comments down below. And we about to eat. Let me move my fingers so you guys can see. Yum. Let me put a spoon so you guys can see. So hearty. Look at them shrimp, though. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Really quick, you guys. This is just a taste test. I wanted to share with you guys. Yesterday, I was going to put croutons, and I didn't. We just added some today. The one that I'm using right now, sorry, um, are the garlic butter ones. But you can use any of your choice. Or if you have stale bread, you can make your own. But it is so good. It gives us such a different crunch and a different flavor to the soup. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So good. You guys, I got my package so late, but I got it. I ordered mints. I got coconut. Oh my God. You know what's funny, you guys? The other day I went online because I'm going to buy another hookah machine. I was looking at these wide uh, tips and I was going to order a whole bunch. And look at that. They sent me a couple of them. That is so nice of them. Nice. And then they sent me samples of two apple, which I really like this one. I like the blue guava. They're so nice to me always. I order from them like every month, every couple of weeks. Yeah, like every month I order from them. Oh, that's so nice. And then I got my charcoal. So this is what I wanted. I'm so excited. I'm going to leave the link down below because it's so much better to buy them online. All right. So I did a Starbucks run. Check this out. They gave me an extra one for free. Every time I go there, um, sometimes the girl just gives me free drinks and I'm so grateful for that. This is a chai frappuccino right here. And then um, the girl that I follow, she uh, collabed with this other girl and they came up with a Mexican hot chocolate. So it's just um, espresso with blonde shots if you want to add some. You can add almond milk, a pump of mocha sauce, and then if you want to do a pump or two of sugar-free vanilla. You need it because I don't know why she said optional. This shit doesn't taste like anything. Try it. Yeah, so, so this is what it looks like. It looks delicious. So, mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. It's dark um, and chocolatey and good, but it needs some sweetness. To yeah, it. so I'm going to add some of the Chalk Zero sugar-free vanilla syrup so definitely need it i knew it needed it i told marlene we were going back and forth but no it's because she try said it, it was without... optional yeah so i'm here thinking you know does it need it or does it not need it you yeah. should really say you need some yeah. flavoring to yeah. this like and this only has 65 calories by the way this is why i like to follow her because you know it's less calories so we have a whole chicken here we put garlic powder onion powder black pepper and salt um, we're gonna flip it over in a second, but I wanted to show you guys we went grocery shopping today and I found G Hughes um, He has like ketchup barbecue sauces and all of these like I'm trying to transition from like 
regular barbecue sauce, regular ketchup, regular honey mustard, all those condiments because look, five calories and zero sugar. Like I'm not playing when I tell you I'm trying to take care of myself more and more every day. Small changes all the time because I'm telling you, it's like everything you eat is not good. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I just try to watch what I eat. This is the first time we're going to use this. Usually y'all already know how we season it. You know, what our Dominican seasonings and everything, but we want something a little bit different. So we're going to flip it over, salt and pepper the other side, and then we'll show you when we add the marinade because we're going to let this sit in the fridge for, for two days. Two yeah. days. We tried it, you guys. It's really good. Really, really good. So I'm just going to add a little bit on top and then I am going to add some in the inside. You just need a little bit, you guys. It's super, super good. Just going to rub it with a spoon like this. Hold on. Then I'm going to cover this, you know, for a couple days. I bet the longer you let it sit, the better it's going to taste and everything like that. And then like we're going to put it in the oven and let it get crispy and caramelized. Oh, my God. I wonder how this would taste with salmon. I'm going to put carrots in this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's going to be delicious. Mm. OMG. This, it tastes really good, you guys. This is perfect to make it with brown rice. By the way, we made a... um. What was it? A brown rice? Like a Mexican bowl. Yeah, like almost like a chipotle bowl the other day with brown rice. Yo, that shit was Cilantro busted. lime rice we yeah. did. So you guys want to see that? Let us know because we'll recreate that for you guys. I know sometimes we ask you guys and I know you guys like to watch whatever we do. But I like to ask because if a lot of people don't want to see it, it's just like why record yeah, it? Yeah, we need to see like how many Full people. Full engagement too, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that a lot of you guys get bored just mm -hmm. as us with food. Mm -hmm. So it's good for us to show you guys some of our tips and tricks or ideas. And then you guys give us feedback. Oh, I'm going to try this this yeah. weekend. Or I'm a, I remember like we ordered Domino's, for example, it has nothing to do with this video. But one of my subscribers, I told Donnie, I've always wanted to try the ultimate pepperoni pizza. One of my subscribers said that her kids love that. Yeah, and she loves it too. So shout out to you. You yeah. know who you are. So I'm going to take the recommendation and yeah. order it for yeah. you. So I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight two days and then we'll show you when we put it in the oven and everything so our chicken whole chicken has been in the fridge for i want to say three days don't mind this this is like a liver and i love this stuff um so i'm heating preheating mm, my oven good. yes hold on you guys preheating my oven i am going to take some minced garlic right now I'm gonna wash my hands very very well and I am going to put some minced garlic under the skin of the turkey it's not a turkey it's a whole this chicken. is a chicken we yeah. don't do turkey here cuz turkey be mad dry mm. I have to master it maybe oh my god Ruti made the best turkey ever yeah maybe first time I've ever I'm gonna do that one day for Thanksgiving by the way this this reminded me of Thanksgiving like just the smell when we opened mm -hmm. it, it smells amazing so she's going to wash her hands and then we're just going to lift up the skin and we're just going to um, put a whole bunch of garlic in there with a spoon because yeah. we got nails. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be in there too much. I do want to put a little bit of raw garlic in the inside of the turkey. Yeah. And by the way, I wanted to do stuffing, but Darlene couldn't find the box stuffing that I wanted to do because I wanted to stuff it in the chicken this time. But yeah. Whatever. All right, you guys. So I'm using a fork. And I am going to be taking a spoon. As you can see, I'm taking that amount of garlic and rubbing it inside the cavity of the, I was going to say turkey again, the chicken. And then I am going to take the fork and lift up the skin. I don't like to do stuff with like my nails. I like to use gloves, but I don't have any gloves. Um, but as you can see, I'm just lifting up the skin and then I'm going to take an additional spoon and add some garlic. It was a little bit challenging. I'm not going to lie, but it was super, super good. I recommend doing this. Sometimes I do like lemon slices or like rosemary if I want to make it different because I feel like no matter how many times you season these uh, chickens, like the inside of the chicken breast is not always seasoned the way that I want, if that makes any sense. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I feel like it lacks flavor. Everything else, like the wings, 
the legs. The breasts are always yeah. thicker, I think it and is. drier. Yeah. yeah. So you always have to make sure you put something under the yeah. skin itself so yeah. that you can keep it moist. Yes, and flavorful. So yeah. this is what my chicken is looking like. It looks so good. I need to get um like one of those basters, you guys, so I could put some of that liquid on top. I'll move this around and then just put some of the natural juices on top of the meat. I might cover it so it don't get too, too crispy, but it looks so good. By the way, this white thing right here, if you never cook the chicken or something like that, once this pops up, it goes up, it'll tell you when it's done. So I'll put it back in the oven and that's it. I'll show you when it's completely done. Wow, you guys, it looks amazing i cannot wait to eat this is what i was telling you guys how it pops out so yeah we just let it cool down for like an hour or so we are gonna plate up right it tastes amazing so we cooked it for three hours at 350 and then after three hours we just turned off the oven and let it sit in the oven for another hour so a total of four hours and look it looks amazing and it tastes amazing yeah we covered it for the last hour right mm -hmm. and then we just left it in the oven so i can't wait to eat because i'm hungry so this is dinner tonight this is my brother's plate by the way, we made a tuna pasta salad. When I tell you. Amazing. It is so good. And, and that was, meat. It was simple. It was less than 15 minutes we did it. So if you guys want to see it, then let us know. But that meat is everything. Yeah, the meat and the food, the pasta salad. Woody's crying like he hasn't eaten for days. So y'all hear him wait. I'm, a, I'm about to feed him right now. So I got to go. All right, so here I have a bowl of three cups of water. I just took some purified drinking water, and this is my sima, so it comes like this. You need seven cups of water, 12 plus hours, okay, fully submerged. So this is what it looks like. It does smell kind of funky, so I'm gonna just throw it in here. I showed it in the last vlog, the company and everything like that, which this is the company. I follow them on Instagram. So look how small it is, right? It's kind of weird feeling. I just got to open the other water bottle because this comes straight from uh, the sea, if I'm not mistaken. So I just got to let this submerge in water. So let me try to open the other water bottle. Hold on. So you can add this to your teas, your smoothie, your coffee, your oatmeal, whatever you want. And I am going to add some lime to this. It says lime. I only have lemon. So I am going to let this soak overnight, probably to mid-afternoon. Um, I'm going to add some lemon to it right now. So it can, I guess people say the smell and everything like that. So I'm just going to squeeze the lemon here. And the outside of my lemon is clean. So I'm just going to throw the whole thing in here and let it submerge overnight. I really don't care if it tastes lemony or not. I love like, you know, lemon. I put it in my tea or my herbal life tea or whatever. So I'm just gonna leave this overnight. I'm gonna cover this. I might add a little bit more of water, but I think that should be good. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little black stuff. And that's probably just from the sea moss itself. So I'm so excited. Wait till you guys see this grow tomorrow. So this is why people add lime to it to improve um, alkal alkalines or something like that and improve sea moss taste and smell. So tomorrow I'll show you guys how I prepare it. I can't wait. This is the company, by the way. So let me show you my sea moss. Look what it's looking like. OMG. It's so slimy, you guys. I'm about to drain this water and just wash it really quick. A couple times, just rinse it out. Look at it. It smells so good because of the lemon. OMG. So I am going to rinse this a couple times. And then I'll put it in the blender with three cups of water. So let's add the sea moss. Sorry, you guys, it's out of focus, but it's going in right now. And now we're just going to add a bottle of water because this one bottle is three cups, close to three cups. <laughs> So 
So my sea moss is done. I will show you guys tomorrow. It's kind of watery, but the longer you let it sit in the fridge, it turns into a jelly. So I'm excited. The next time, I'm just going to do this round plane like this. The next time, I'm going to do a flavored one. So if you guys want to see me do a flavored one, I think I'm going to do cinnamon and apple next time. Let me know because I will do that. Use some of that for daddy's steak now, too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make my dad a shake really quick. A banana. No, a mango shake really quick. So we're doing a giveaway. Um, this is going to be prize A. All the information is going to be down below. This is going to be open. What day is today? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. It's going to be open till next Wednesday. And then I will announce the winner through Instagram. So make sure you look at the description bar. So these are all the lip glosses you're going to be getting. These are all from Paris Hilton. You're going to get a lip balm. You're going to get this Coastal Scents palette right here for cheek and... What is a contour? You're going to get a brush. You're going to get a bath bomb. You're going to get a J roller. You're going to get this Kate Somerville kit. You're going to get some lashes. You're going to get a face mask. You're going to get one of these for your feet. Like if you wear heels and the back of your feet hurt. You're going to get this um, bonnet. And then I'm going to be giving this purse out as well. And it comes with the strap. So you could do wristlet, I guess. I apologize. It's a little bit scratched there but you don't have to use this this has been sitting in my closet for over 10 years in a bag so i'm gonna be giving this out so this is going to be prize a so this is gonna be prize b you're gonna get some makeup brushes right here all of these lip glosses you're gonna get two of these things for your feet you're going to get this Naked Palette, brand new. I'm going to open it just to show you guys. The only thing that got messed up was the box right here. Two bath bombs. You're going to get this little makeup bag right here. Another brush. Uh, lip coconut balm. Don't mind this. It has to be from my hookah. Um, you're going to get some of these right here. And these are just loose powders, eyeshadow loose pigments right here so pretty and then i'm gonna be giving out this keychain from dominican republic that i found that i had a while ago actually i brought that from dominican republic and then you're gonna get this lip gloss no this is a liquid lipstick from jeffree star can't relate Fire. and then you're gonna be getting this smashbox lipstick right here let me see if i could take it out and open it and show you guys make sure please read the description bar i don't want to hear no nonsense or none of that so um, this is the lipstick omg like i really want to keep it but i'm gonna give yeah. it to y'all should i should i keep it nah, nah it's I'm beautiful it's beautiful let me open the palette to show you really quick and this is the palette as you can see it's never been used or anything like that gorgeous like, it's gorgeous gonna, like i really want to keep it, it. You're yeah gonna kill it i i hope the winner that gets this both of y'all y'all need to go out on a date Take yourself out because we giving y'all a whole kit here to mm, yeah. like go out and um, kill it out here in yeah. the streets. So this is the ending of the vlog. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave all the rules down below. Uh, good luck to everybody entering. And we yeah. love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your constant support. We see everybody that comments. This is why we love giving back to you guys. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.